Okay, what's up guys? I've got the Vans RV7 out here. I flew it FEV for the first time over the weekend. I really like the way it flew. Had a ton of yaw wobble side to side. Um, the manual calls for outside hole on the control horn and outside hole on the servo horn. I went ahead and moved it in two holes, I believe, to give a little less throw. It's such a short wheelbase. And even in medium rates, doing a knife edge, I could yaw over. So I got way more rudder authority than I think that I need. And I don't feel like flashing the receiver since it's a bind and fly to get access to the AS3 gains. So if someone else knows how to do that in forward programming without flashing the receiver for a bind and fly, please let me know. Cause it would be awesome to have at least the gains for that axis on a knob. Everything else is super locked in. Um, I really didn't do it justice when I first got it. It's the first plane I got when I got back into flying. And uh, I flew it in safe a lot. I didn't think it flew that well. But after kind of getting a little bit better over the last couple of months, I flew it again for the first time about a week ago. And man, it really is an awesome plane. It is kind of inherently unstable, especially on the yaw axis, which I don't know, hopefully moving that control horn in one or two uh, on the servo horn will help with that. It is windy as heck today, uh, 10 to 12, gust to 15. So I feel like if it's gonna wobble like crazy on the yaw axis, now would be the time it was gonna do it. Um, other than that, I put the regular canopy back on. I can't fly FBB here uh, at the field. So I'm just flying it how it would be out of the box. The grass was mowed recently. If you're not in safe, you can do grass ops with this. Uh, we've got Bermuda down here in Texas, which you can see it's all dead because we've got no rain down here. Um, it will get off the ground. If you've got grass higher than this, um, especially if your CG is forward, I like running mine a little bit further back. So you see, I got my battery almost all the way back. And then if I'm trying to do some really aggressive stuff, which I'm really not good enough to do, I'll put it all the way back to where the foam is for a 2200 4S. But anyway, basically just out here to test the rudder uh, and see how it does. I mean, that's low rates and look how much throw I got. You know, high rates, I, I feel like, I don't know. I'm hoping this fixes the yaw wobble because FPV, it was driving me nuts. Granted, it was windy there too. Um, so not a fair shake, but if I'm gonna keep it to fly FPV, I want it to be slightly more stable than that. So um, we're gonna try low rates and see if the wind will die down a little bit. It's kind of coming straight at me right to left down the runway, but there is a little bit of cross component. So I try and get it when it's straight as dead on as possible. Uh, no flap takeoff, into the power. And then she hops right up. You can kind of see it. Let's see, I'll try and bring it down the runway and low rates here. It just wants to wiggle on the yaw. The P51 does it a little bit too. You know, I know it's a 1.1, you know, I'm asking a lot. You can see it. That's actually substantially better. That looks like it's tracking a lot straighter on the yaw axis, which I'm not concerned really that much about the turbulence um, on roll or pitch. It's just the yaw kind of gives you that impression that it's stalling when you're flying at FPV. And so I was kind of not getting my throttle modulation where I wanted it to be. And I just felt really unstable uh, because of that yaw wiggle. It almost, it, it feels like an asymmetric wing stall. Um, but yeah, that, okay. I think I'm gonna try a knife edge in low rates and see where we're at. Cause I might move it in another horn. Let's see. Uh, she's falling in low rates. Let me go to medium here. And I know my knife edge skills are horrendous, so make fun of me if you want. Okay, that's medium, and that was holding. Uh, let's try a high rate. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're still good knife edge wise. Um, in medium is fine. 
So I might try and move it in one more. No rate. The other thing I like about this, and it's kind of surprising, I mean, it is pretty acrobatic. It actually flies inverted really well. I know that you wouldn't think it would, but it does. It's almost dead symmetrical flying inverted. So, I mean, I'm inverted now. A little bit, maybe 15%. Letting off a little bit, 10%. Going with the wind. See if I can bring it by for a inverted pass down the runway without crashing it. We're into the wind, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. Yeah, look at that. Into the wind, inverted slow pass. And then enough power. You just go straight out of that which is pretty amazing. I'd like to get a little bit lower than that, but I don't really know if I got the balls for that. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and not push that <laughs> so I don't biff it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, one more time. What the hell? With the wind, it's kind of cheating. I mean, it almost like will go like high alpha ish. Ah, okay, yeah. I'm going to for sure crash it if I keep fucking with that. <laughs> Um, medium rates, 85%. Yeah, she wings right over. I like the lights on this. Uh, I do have reverse thrust set up so you can see the prop braking uh, quite a bit. I've started to try and just fly in my medium rates all the time, you know, 85% with 30 to 35% expo just to kind of just get used to that feel and then i can still do you know the knife edges loop stalls all that kind of stuff and uh trying to turn it with a little bit of rudder there uh those earlier inverted passes were on low rates I think my timer's about done here. Five, four, three, two, one. Time expired. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's fast. On 4S is the way to go. I wouldn't even bother with 3S. 2200. I think I'm running a five or a five and a half minute timer. Plenty of speed. Let's go back to low rates and bring it in. Been pushing my luck already with this flight, so. Probably go no flaps. There's just so much headwind right now that I don't think I even need flaps. Maybe 40% throttle. You can feel it starting to stall there. Hitting the wind shear. Hard right aileron to counter that wind. Taxi wise in the grass, uh, I don't know. You're you're asking for trouble, uh, especially with this crosswind. Let me ride. Yeah, I don't have enough rudder authority. It wants to weather vane, so I will go pick it up. But yeah, I think that's the way to go. If you got one of these and you like it, consider moving that control horn in you know you're already on the outermost control horn 
uh, for the actual control surface. So you got no adjustment room there. Let's see where I'm actually at. Uh, rudder. Okay, so I am in the second hole. So I might go ahead and move it in one more uh, and then go back up for another flight uh, and just see if that evens out the yaw even more. Uh, Cause I got enough control authority now still that I'm not wanting on the yaw, the rudder department. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. I do like this little guy. It flies much better with safe off, which probably most planes do than with safe on. So I feel like I didn't give it a fair shake when I first got it. I was telling everybody it sucked.